Hey gang, Chase here, and today I'll be doing a hands-on review of Sony's PXW FS7 camera and the Sony FE-PZ 28 to 135 millimeter lens. The FS7 certainly made its mark on the community, being a production grade camera with internal 4K 422 10 bit recording capability and the ability to accommodate studio shooting or run and gun shooting right out of the box. And Sony's 28 to 135 millimeter servo zoom lens is a great companion to this camera, utilizing internal image stabilization and providing a constant 4 0 maximum aperture throughout the zoom range. So, Let's start with the camera. We'll touch briefly on its internal build before checking out the features available in the camera's menu. Then we're gonna jump out of the camera to look at its outer ergonomics and the included accessories before we take a look at the lens's build and capabilities. The Sony FS7 is equipped with a Super 35 single XMOR CMOS sensor that captures images with cinematic depth of field, 14 stops of dynamic range, and a broad color gamut. A quick run through of the menu will show us a little bit more of what this camera is capable of. The top menu is the user menu, which is totally customizable. You can add, omit, and rearrange most features available in the other menus right here for quick and easy accessibility. We've started our user menu with the base setting of the camera. A custom base setting keeps the FS7 just like a traditional video camera in that it's recording a Rec. 709 style profile. So the image look that you see in the viewfinder or external monitor should look just like the image that you're recording. But you can engage Sony's Cine EI mode, which allows you to record in various S-logs. Recording S-log provides you with a flatter image that preserves more shadow and highlight detail than shooting with a standard video gamma curve. This flatter image is more conducive to adjusting your color and brightness in post. Having the choice between these two shooting profiles is great because it allows you to choose a streamlined post workflow depending on your final deliverable. Now when shooting an S-Log in the Cine EI mode, you have the option to select from any of the pre-programmed LUTs or look profiles available in the camera. You can even import up to four custom 3D LUTs of your own. Use them to see an approximation of what the final product will look like in your viewfinder or external monitor while recording the S-Log signal. Then you can apply the LUT to the image in post and make any tweaks there. If you're happy with your LUT, you can save time by baking the LUT into the internally recorded image or onto that outgoing signal to a recorder. So the FS7 is capable of shooting up to 60 frames per second at full 4K, UHD, and HD. With the slow and quick motion option engaged, you have the ability to record up to 180 frames per second in HD. While shooting an S and Q motion in S-Log3, LUTs are disabled. But on the bright side, there is no additional compression in S and Q motion, something that was common in its predecessors. Next, we've got the codec menu, where we can select from two versions of Sony's 10-bit 422 XAVC codec, an intra version and long version, for 4K UHD and HD recording internally onto the high-speed XQD cards and an MPEG HD422 codec for just HD is also recorded internally. The XDCA FS7 extension piece, available separately, provides an output capable of kicking a 12-bit raw signal to a 4K external recorder, and it's even capable of converting the video signal into ProRes 422 or ProRes 422 HQ and sending it back into the camera to be recorded internally onto those XQD cards. Plenty of other features are available in the menu for this camera, but for the sake of time, let's move along and take a look at the FS7's exterior. The FS7 is traditionally utilized as a documentary style camera. Its longer camera build and forward set eyepiece and hand grip encourages an ENG style setup. Additionally, the camera has a long record function, allowing for hours and hours of internally recorded footage. The camera mounts to a tripod plate or base plate with a standard 3816, a locking pin, and a quarter 20 screw hole on the bottom. It has a machined stainless steel E-mount. However, the shallow flange distance allows you to mount most other 35 millimeter lens types using mechanical adapters without a problem. There are three levels of NDs built in over the sensor, allowing you to run outdoors in an instant without having to install a matte box onto a cumbersome rig. It has a very organic button layout. 
There are three assignable buttons and one assignable dial on the camera body, as well as three separate assignable buttons and one assignable dial on the included smart grip that you can program custom features to in the menu as well. Standard features like ISO and gain, autofocus, white balance, etc. are all right here on the side. We have the XQD card ports right here in the back. Next to the card slots, you'll see a mini USB port for transferring footage and a utility SD port which allows you to update the FS7's firmware. It uses the standard Sony BPU batteries available in various sizes that can power the camera from approximately one to three hours or, if you can, use the included 12 volt DC power. Under this flap here in the back, we have the connection port for the XDCA FS7 extension that I was referring to earlier. This extension can also mount V-Lock batteries for even longer run times, and it has a four pin XLR DC power input and a four pin Hiroshi output. Also in the rear, we have the reader for the included remote for hands-free camera control. The included 1.56 million dot LCD monitor gets its signal from a proprietary out on the camera, leaving the other video outputs open. Let's talk about that monitor real quick before we get into those. It mounts to the end of a rod that's attached to the end of the microphone mount with an adjustable rod lock, so it can be moved forward and back, left and right, up and down, which is gonna help you get that monitor right where you need it, whether you're going shoulder mounted, tripod mounted, low mode, almost any style of shooting. The included eyepiece turns the monitor into a viewfinder to magnify the image, but it also keeps extraneous light off the screen and provides another point of contact against your body for steadier shots when you're in shoulder mounted or handheld mode. You can flip the eyepiece open for a quick view of the monitor. The monitor has a contrast adjustment wheel built into its side, as well as its own peaking and zebra speed buttons for faster access and there's a mirror button that flips and reflects the image in the monitor so that no matter how you flip or position it, it's oriented to the correct direction. There are two 3G SDI ports and an HDMI 2.0 out, all capable of kicking out that full 4K or HD to an external monitor or recorder. This remote port is where you plug in the included smart grip. When used in conjunction with the shoulder pad underneath the camera, you can hold the camera package in that more ENG style fashion while keeping camera control in your hands, great for run and gun shooting. Everything you see here comes out to about four and a half kilograms or just under 10 pounds. The shoulder pad is adjustable back and forth and the grip's adjustable arm attaches directly to the rosette found on the side of the camera. There are two XLR inputs that record 24-bit, 48 kilohertz. The adjustment dials and switches are found on the opposite side, making recording sound without an audio engineer possible. The very sturdy top handle is a great place to mount the viewfinder and microphone off of. The top handle also features a zoom rocker and start-stop button, and it mounts to the top of the camera with four included screws, making it really easy to remove if you have to fit it into a tight case. And lastly, we have the WLAN port right here for you to plug in your included USB adapter to give your FS7 Wi-Fi capability, enabling wireless camera setting adjustment, file transfer, and image preview from a smart device. So, now that we have an idea of what the Sony FS7 is capable of, let's get into this FEPZ 28 to 135 millimeter lens. This lens is a powered variable zoom. Its 28 to 135 millimeter focal range easily covers wide angle to telephoto perspectives, complementing the FS7 Super 35 sensor. A constant F4 maximum aperture allows greater consistency throughout the zoom range, so no worries of exposure ramping as you zoom. An optical steady shot image stabilization system works to minimize the appearance of camera shake by up to four shutter speed steps. The lens features three independent control rings for zoom, focus, and aperture. Focus mode can be switched from auto to manual by sliding the focus ring forward. Focus noise is minimized through use of a linear motor and weight reduction of the focus element group. The world's first supersonic wave motor drive powers the zoom function, allowing precision and quiet operation. The nine-bladed iris provides a round aperture and is designed to be smooth and silent. All three control rings have been engineered to provide ideal torque for comfortable, responsive, slip-free operation, ideal for any production. 
Sony's nanostructure and AR coating technologies on the glass is designed to effectively suppress reflections that can cause flares and ghosting, thus allowing more accurate light transmission for pristine, high-quality images. So, in closing, the FS7 represents a new production standard for ENG, sports, reality TV, even cinema, by combining amazing internal capabilities with its ergonomic form factor. And in the past, lenses with the features that the 28-135mm has cost upwards of $15,000 and they always needed an additional power source. That makes these two together a powerhouse package in today's industry. And there is your hands-on review for the Sony PXW FS7 camera and the FEPZ 28-135mm lens. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.